Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. It's Ryan here with uh, DP Marketing Dot Services and author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and H HVAC contractors. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, uh, staying safe, and it's good to see you. Uh, coming out to a video, it's a little bit different, right? So um, if you've been following our videos for long, you know we try to provide like uh, marketing help or just business insights to help you grow your plumbing and HVAC shop. Um, the companies we work with are all over the US and Canada. Uh, but really, it kind of marketing is our lane. Um, part of working in your business, so uh, this is true regardless if you're plumbing or HVAC or electrical, is the idea of seasonality, right? So w we've talked about before about like, don't be surprised with seasonality. It's going to happen. It's going to come, right? And that's why we're, we're proponents of things like flat rate pricing because the idea of flat rate pricing inherently puts uh, cash reserves in your in your cash flow um, during the busy seasons to help you survive and and pay your bills and not have to struggle so much during the slow seasons. So um, so we've talked about that. We've we've talked about things like that. But here's something kind of a different spin on the idea of seasonality. Um, this is true regardless of the size of your business and the size of your market or how volatile those swings are. Right. So for instance. Um, if you're a plumbing contractor and you're pretty temperate client, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you do plumbing and you're in a temperate climate, um, you'll probably find that your, your seasonality is somewhat stable. You might have a little bit busier, you know, right after Christmas or a little bit slower in November, but whatever it, for the most part, it's kind of consistent. If you're in a region where there are freezes, you might find that you kind of, uh, get these really special big spikes in business during rainy season or during fr freezing season. So you, you know, kind of just intuitively that rhythm. If you're HVAC, um, especially if you're in a climate that's, you know, nine months of the year is pretty nice, but three months of the year sucks. Um, you know that it's gonna be like, eh, 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 and then summer comes in and boom, you gotta go and you gotta make your money. Um, but in February when it's 75 degrees outside, ain't nobody thinking about an HVAC guy. So um, the idea essentially is we know that seasonality is coming. We know we shouldn't be surprised by it. We know that your cash flow should be managed because your flat rate, all those things are, are true. However, here's the other challenge for you. Right now, start putting into place ideas that you can execute when it's seasonally slow, right? You don't, this is, imagine even like a literal box, like a shoe box of, Hey, when it slows down, here's 20 ideas. We're going to start pulling out of this box and we're going to start running these. These might be things that are low cost, but high impact. Um, they might not like re result in you running 50 calls that day, but they're going to keep you in front of your customer's eyes um, in a really meaningful way. So here's an example. Let's pretend you know you're going to be seasonally slow in uh, August, right? It's back to school. So one of the ideas you might put in this box is you're going to find a way to partner with local schools to do something for the teachers. Maybe it's a school supply drive. Maybe it's some sort of way to help the school system. Maybe it's donating supplies for the kids. Uh, but the idea is you're going to go to the fact, hey, your guys are sitting around. You don't have a lot else to do right now. It's going to be slow. So in this box goes this idea of I'm going to have my guys get out. We're going to be in the schools. Uh, the parents are going to see us there. The teachers are going to see us there. Everyone's going to know that our business is helping these teachers. And here's the deal with teachers. They talk to each other. They're kind of like a mob um, <laughs> where, where one group of teachers go, they all uh, they tend to follow. So it's one of these things where um, that one little thing of just finding a way to be involved with the schools in August, if that's your seasonally slow time, get in front of the teachers. You might not notice the impact in August, but you're gonna have a lot of goodwill and it will come back to you throughout the rest of the fall and the rest of the school year. Um, maybe you're gonna find that, hey, you're seasonally slow in March and you know that every year. So you know what, get an idea now. Great, we're gonna, we're gonna get all the approval through our city governments. We're actually gonna donate uh, flowers <laughs> and uh, all the potting supplies that we need and we're gonna have our team go out and spend a day planting plants at a local park. You're just going to line up all the trucks, all your guys. You're going to pay them for it, right? Because you do flat rate pricing. You've got the cash to do this. And you're just going to have your guys plant flowers for the local parks. Guess who loves that? The news. Call the newspaper. Call the news station. Get a press release about you giving in the community. Guys, that's a little thing. 
Flowers are cheap. Donating your guys' time is cheap, relatively speaking. But the impact it makes on the goodwill in your community is hard to describe. Um, or maybe you want to say, hey, when, when it gets seasonally slow, we want to have an idea of partnering with this restaurant. We love this restaurant and we're going to find something to give back. But that's the idea, right? Plan those things in advance. You know it's going to happen. Have them ready in a box. Have 10, 20 ideas ready to go and just pull them out whenever you need them. I would love to hear from you. What do you do when things get slow? What ideas do you have? Leave a comment below. And as always, guys, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. See you next time.